winner of this gets to challenge me in the finals. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dirtfish saying his goal of making it to the finals is complete. So he's 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 happy no matter what happens here. All right. It's time for time to watch this fight progress. Once again, we're back in we're back in the matchup we saw earlier. And like before, Pokemon's got to keep that distance closed, and Dirtfish is going to try and keep him as far away as he can. Just going to play into, uh, into 13's huge range Ooh. advantage. He's going to take advantage of his grabs. But Dash Shine's definitely taking advantage of Hawkman's grabs and range for these gap closing moves. I got a bit too close there. It looks like that's the only real disadvantage to playing as 13 is once they close that gap, she yeah, is... It's really hard for her to get them off. Yeah. But if she can keep that range, then she definitely has a huge advantage. Oh, and the grab is going to have to watch out for those. But now, that Shine is trying to keep this match closed and in his hand. Oh! And he gets the hit. Dirtfish needs to take advantage more of his burst. He's not using it to get uh, that shine away from him. Alright. That, that shine gets the first hit and it, it does some pretty heavy damage. But it was followed up by uh, Dirtfish putting a combo in. Alright, keeping him away. He's keeping the pressure on it. He's trying to get as many hits in as he can. Oh, and here we go. He's in the corner. Oh. But he manages to, to break his way out. Now... Ooh. Oh, nice block. Be being in that corner is definitely a very odd area. Because uh, it doesn't give him a whole lot of escape potential, but it keeps him at the farthest range he has. Right. And he blocked that. That was well timed. Up and again. All you need, each player just needs one more solid hit. Oh. Oh no. Oh, he made it. He dodged it. All right, oh. but he couldn't get the recovery he needed. Unfortunate. There goes the first match of the of I'm the finals. finals. Yep. That time takes it. It is three out of five. All right. So there's a lot of chance for adjustment here. Definitely taking, he's definitely taking advantage of his grabs and stuns right now. Oh. How far? In a way, well, the advantage the advantage comes in keeping him within arm's length. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, that shine is working his way in, making it really hard for Dirtfish to keep him away. That is, that is definitely one thing that uh, Hakumon definitely makes up for. He may not be very mobile, but he can get around. He can. And when he gets in there, the damage just piles up. It does. But... Uh, 13 definitely has that, uh, definitely has that kind of machine gun advantage. The, she can get a lot more hits in. Quite granted, it's not as efficient. That is very true. But that range definitely gives her that advantage with that, that number that she can get. Like it's right there. This is looking like a good turnaround for her Dirtfish. Oh, and Dirtfish takes that round. All right, Dirtfish. There he goes. Making adjustments. Oh, nice hit. Oh, the, t the, the, the sound from the Smash tournament. That was, that was a little painful. <laughs> that was a bit painful. But... Can I just say that the uh, 
the soundtrack for this game is just phenomenal. Oh, it is a really good, very good soundtrack. Taking oh. advantage of that stun. And game two goes to that shine. Well, Dermfist switch will he decide to stick? Oh, we need switching. And he's moving over to, oh. Not, not as Ryan? Does he have another character up his sleeve? I really, I, I really have to wonder, and I, I really hope so. Like, yeah. I really like to see what he, what other characters he has that skill with. Oh, Noel. Oh, no, Azrael. Okay. 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 <laughs> and we're back to Azrael. All right. Let's see if Azrael can make the shift he needs to win it. Let's see how this one goes. All right, he's in there. Get some damage on the board. Ooh! What's up? Had a bit of a yawn there, but... All right. He's, de he's definitely getting a he's definitely getting that damage advantage, and he's not getting that off play that off range Ooh, advantage oh, that he oh. had before. And this should be the it. Oh, he's yep. laying those hits in, and he is staying vicious to Hawkmon. He's definitely laying in there. He's like, all right, I had enough zoning you out, and now it's my turn to go in and do the damage to you. He, he's as as Ezreal, he definitely has that advantage of being able to be that aggressive, like he is. Both char both characters kind of have this assassin complex: high damage, decent or so, uh, like de moving in and out. Ooh, when he gets hit. But Azrael definitely seems to have the greater uh, overall mobility. Oh, and he gets it. But not the range. Was not able to land a Valiant Charger, which was what he needed to uh, close out that game. Uh, now this is game point, or set point for that time. Dirtfish has to win here if he wants to advance, or stay alive in the tournament. Dashine is definitely taking full advantage, though, of his range is Hawkmon. But that, but Dirtfish is definitely just keeping this pressure. Oh, he gets around it. Oh. And that, there's that mobility I was mentioning that he has. But there was a miss, and, and Dash Shine is keeping that stun ready. Ooh. Oh. This is definitely a heated match. One more hit. There it is. That. Wow. That's, all right. <laughs> Both of these can, were some strong contenders. <laughs> all right. Well, it's time for me.